Molinaro of Mo Bryan Real Estate Blackburn with another edition of the Eastern Weekly Rental News for 2020, where real estate information is on the house. This week's federal budget offered no relief for landlords who are bearing the brunt from the Victorian government's six month extension on moratorium of rents, and rightly so, as the National cannot prop up Victoria. The relief for landlords will come in the form of tax cuts for their tenants and for themselves if they are working. Tax cuts of $1,080 will apply almost immediately for earners over $45,000 and $2,565 for earners over $90,000. The tax cuts will improve household rental serviceability and allow landlords better loan serviceability. Investors of real estate will need to bide their time and ride out the next six months and look at ways to improve their situation. And mortgage refinancing is the number one area to focus on. And we also recommend you look at risk mitigation and review your landlord insurance policies. Ultimately, rental moratorium means a lack of rental housing on the market, which means tenants will be limited by choice and tenancy applications will continue to be hotly contested. The major initiative of the budget was the $4 billion job maker hiring plan for the young, which is set to create 450,000 jobs. Employers of 16 to 30 year olds to be given a $200 a week credit and $100 for 30 to 35 year olds. On top of that, the job trainer scheme for school leavers offering a $1.2 billion wage subsidy for traineeships and apprenticeships. In other news, the RBA leaves the cash rate unchanged for October, with November now an odds on favourite to a 15 basis point cut. The good news for tenants looking to rent is the first home loan deposit scheme, which will be extended with 10,000 new places and now only being made available for new builds. CoreLogic released its September Home Price Index and all capital cities rose in value except for Sydney and Melbourne. Since peaking in March, Melbourne values are down 5.5%, but are still up 3.1% on this time 12 months ago. Forecast in economic growth handed down in the federal budget looks rosy for financial year 21-22, with a rise from 1.5% to 4.75%, and unemployment is expected to fall to 6.5%. And now for a little acknowledgement on our people's success. The 2020 REIB Awards for Excellence finalists are in and we are excited to announce O'Brien Real Estate is a finalist in the following four categories. Community Service, O'Brien Real Estate Foundation. Innovation, O'Brien Auction TV. Real Estate Salesperson of the Year, Michelle Stevens, And I have been nominated for Residential Property Manager of the Year. Congratulations to all the finalists and everyone involved. And the best of luck to my brother, Anthony Molinaro, from our Blackburn office in next week's REIB Senior Auctioneering Competition. Remember, if you're considering selling, don't forget the Sell With O'Brien competition. Due to extended restrictions, we have launched the competition in early September and have decided to extend the competition until the 29th of January, 2021. To enter, list your home with O'Brien to go in the draw, to win a Volkswagen Polo, an entertainment package, or a furniture package. Feature property of the week is two of 13 Taronga Court, Nunawati. This modern two bedroom unit sits at the rear of only two on the block, comprising open plan, living, and quality fixtures and fittings. The living area includes north facing double glass sliding doors out to the semi covered courtyard, ensuring plenty of natural light. The modern kitchen is fully equipped with stone bench tops and stainless steel appliances. There are two carpeted bedrooms, both with built-in robes, semi-ensuite powder room, separate laundry and a single carport. Also includes gas ducted heating throughout. This property is ideally located within minutes drive to Nunawati train station, Eastern Freeway, East Link and walking distance to St Phillips Primary and is within the Whitehorse Primary and Blackburn High School zones. That's all for this week. I'm Anna Molinaro and remember the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal financial taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Until next time, it's bye for now.